Hello everyone. Hello everyone. I've made a solar tracker by using the Arduino board with two servos and five LDRs. To demonstrate how the solar tracker works, basically I have an array of five LDRs over here. One, two, three, four, five. The middle three will track the left to right movement while the middle tree will track the top to bottom movement so here I have this so see if I shine the light over to the right side it will rotate to the right shine it to the bottom it goes down shine it to the top So obviously this works best as a solar tracker if I have these LDRs actually mounted onto this service here. But then I do not have the required soldering skills to do so to actually extend the connection of the LDRs at a, at a, long, at a longer length. So I guess this is the extent of what I can do. I've also realized that the 5 volt supply from the USB is crap. You literally need an external power source, such as a battery, or in my case, I've used the DC input to connect to the Arduino DC in. The circuit is straightforward. I'll disconnect it for safety purposes. <clears throat> right here, I have two toy servo motors one to control the left to right motion one to control the top and bottom motion next we have the actual circuit itself servos connected to to digital pin 10 and pin 9 correctly of course I've heard that if you connect the ground and voltage uh, <clears throat> wires in the wrong order you will actually burn out your motor within a few seconds then I have 5 LDRs 5 this, this tree track the left to right this tree track the top and bottom they should have been in a straight line but due to the constraints of this half size breadboard I cannot do so. So this is the best that I can do. <clears throat> they are all connected to analog pins so that I can use the analog read function 0 to 4 and this is the ground and 5 volt connected to here and I extend a connection down bottom here so that I don't get a messy circuit and that's about it right so let's take a look at the code the sketch itself so I first of all I include the servo library then I declare two servos position 1 for the horizontal position position 2 for the vertical position the right and <clears throat> I've also declared an, an integer variable to record the LDR values like so and then I declared the LDR pins next I move on to the setup function here attach one servo to pin 10 and I've set the initial position to 90 degrees just for show then the second servo to pin 9 and write it to 90 degrees declare all the LDRs as input and now we'll move on to the loop function right 
so first of all you <coughs> first of all I record the reading of the first syllable and the second syllable then record the the readings from the alias and now we do the math so let's say the light is towards the right side which is which has a higher brightness to the right then we increment the position of the servo by one give it a delay of 10 milliseconds and this repeats for whenever the right is more than center and left is more than, uh, le left is less than center and declare for the other situation as well and if all else fails that means the panel is right in the center so we do not move it now we do it for the vertical position and we do practically the same thing just that we change the servo name and the position name see how I can do thanks for watching goodbye